Okay, now that we have a test created, we're going to put some questions in that test. In this next series of videos, we're going to look at some of the more common types of questions. To start with, to access the test, you go to the control panel, click on Course Tools, and then click on Cert Test Surveys and Pools, and Tests. And it's the rock and roll music test that we're going to edit today, so you click the chevron by that and select edit. There are no questions in it at the moment. You can see if, if there were you would see them here. So we're going to begin with the first type of question but before we do that I want to double check on my question settings and make sure that I have this all set up before I start. I don't want to provide individual feedback on individual answers. I do want the option to add images to both the questions and the answers. I'm going to add metadata to these questions, which will help in future searching if, it's a, if it becomes a large question pool. By default, every question gives a, gets a default point value of 10. I'm going to just back that up to 1, so each question is worth 1 point. And then if I have some questions later on in the test that are higher point value than that, I'll edit them at that time. So by default, every question will be given 1 point. I will be able to have the option for partial credit for, for, for like multiple choice or multiple answer questions for example. If you got two out of four right you'd get two points instead of zero and etc. The rest of that all looks pretty good so I'm going to submit those options right there. First type of question that I'm going to add is a multiple choice question. So I'm going to scroll down and click on multiple choice. The title of this question is, remember this is a rock and roll test, and I have the question right there, I'm just going to copy that into the question text box. The lead singer for the 70s, 80s band Twisted Sister was. I could choose to put a file attached to this question if I wanted to, I could put a picture of Twisted Sister there for the students to look at, but I'm not going to do that in this particular case. I'm just going to leave the answer numbering on none, with, and by default it will go to the Arabic 1, 2, 3. Uh, I'm going to leave the default answer orientation as vertical, but you could choose to put that horizontal if you wanted to. I don't need to check partial credit for this question because it's a multiple choice question with only one right answer, so there will be no partial credits for this and I can choose to show the answers in random order. I like that one because if two students are sitting beside each other and one student whispers to the other, what's the answer to number one? Well, student number one's A, B, C, D answers would be different from student two's A, B, C, D answers. So I like to mix up the, the random order of the answers that way. There will be four possible answers in this question. You could choose to put as many as you want, really, but I'm okay with the four. And here I'm going to type in the possible answers. D. Snyder, and in fact, D. Snyder is the lead singer for Twisted Sister, so I'm going to leave that little correct radio button checked on there. And the other four band members are Roger Waters. No, he was the lead singer for Pink Floyd. Phil Collins. Bill and Steve Tyler. Okay, so the one true answer is D. Schneider, and I have that checked off for answer number one. You can give feedback to the students when they get it right and when they get it wrong. Now come the categories and keywords for the metadata search for later on. I'm going to call this category music. I'm going to call the topic rock and roll. I'm going to call the level of difficulty easy. That should be an easy one for most people. Who anybody who knows about rock and roll. And keywords, I'll put 
sister, lead singer, a couple of keywords there for searching later on. I could put instructor notes if I want to do that, but I'm not going to in this particular case. I'm done, I think, building that question, so I'm just going to click Submit. And there you will see it. Question number one of your test. It has a point value of one. There's the question with the correct answer shown. Students, of course, won't see that. And that's all there is to that. Uh, end of this first video. Thank you.